Uh, Maggie, uh, I guess the first question, why? Why is Hopix leaving? Well, I, I, it's funny. I was actually listening to you talking about um, everything she had been through with him, and it, and it really reminds you of this is, this is um, a grueling and in many ways terrible job um, for almost everybody who is working in the White House right now. Um, and so I think that if you, if you go to that, that is the main reason. Look, Hopix has been thinking about leaving for a really long time. I realize that there are um, there's going to be a lot of assumptions that this all is from yesterday um, and her time on the Hill. Um, all of my reporting indicates that it's not, uh, that this has been something um, that has been in discussion for a while, um, and that essentially she decided there was no perfect moment to leave. Um, there, She had done what she wanted to do. She had conceived of this gun forum last week. She had worked on uh, tax reform. Um, uh, and she had, you know, sort of accomplished what she could. She never became of Washington or a denizen of Washington, was never part of it. Um, and she's, um, you know, I, I think uh, interested in, in, in moving on, essentially. Most people, as you know very well, do not last in these jobs under normal circumstances uh, for endless amounts of time. Um, these have been like dog years. Jim, uh, what can you tell us about Hope Hicks? Uh, yeah, Jake, uh, we were just told uh, by a White House official uh, in the last several minutes that this is happening in the next few weeks. Uh, the White House, as you might expect, in one of these uh, departures, and it doesn't get uh, perhaps more high profile than this. Perhaps the chief of staff or a cabinet level position would be higher profile than this or the president's family. But Hope Hicks uh, has almost been the president's family uh, for the last several years, serving with him uh, during the campaign and here at the White House. But uh, she has put out a statement saying there are no words to adequately express my gratitude to President Trump. I wish the president and his administration the very best as he continues to lead our country. Uh, there's also a, a quote here from the president, uh, uh, Jake. Uh, Hope is out standing and has done great work uh, for the last three years. She is as smart and thoughtful as they come. A truly great person, Chief of Staff John Kelly. When I became uh, Chief of Staff, I quickly realized what so many have learned about Hope. She is strategic, poised, and wise beyond her years. Uh, obviously, uh, some of those glowing statements uh, do sort of fight against what we heard uh, reported yesterday by Armanu Raju and others that Hope Hicks uh, essentially uh, revealed to lawmakers behind closed doors when she was testifying yesterday that she had told uh, little white lies on behalf of the president uh, during her, her work for him. Uh, but make no mistake, when you talk to anybody here around the White House uh, in Trump world, uh, there is really no advisor who is closer to the president, closer to Donald Trump uh, than Hope Hicks. Uh, it is not an overstatement to say that she is essentially part of his family and she has functioned that way for some time and this is going to be a big role for somebody uh, to fill here in the coming days. Uh, keep in mind she was the communications director here but she was so much more than that because she was so close to the president. Jake.